The S-300, known as SA-10 Grumble in NATO parlance, represents a significant advancement in long-range surface-to-air missile systems, originating in the latter years of the Cold War era, 1947-1991. It was specifically developed to counter the increasing use of cruise missiles by Western powers, which posed a threat during the initial stages of a potential full-scale conflict with the Soviet Union. Beginning its development in 1967, the S-300 missile entered Soviet military service in 1978 under the auspices of MKB. Despite its Cold War origins, continuous modernization efforts have ensured its relevance on the battlefield, bolstered by its formidable radar system, making it an effective anti-aircraft defense system. An export-oriented variant has also gained popularity among various global operators, particularly those with ties to the Soviet Cold War era. Comparable to the American MIM-104 Patriot battery in terms of battlefield capabilities, the S-300 system faces competition from newer designs like the Chinese HQ-9 system, which has recently been adopted by Turkey, challenging the dominance of Russian-made systems. Typically deployed on heavy-duty trucks equipped with multiple cell launchers, the S-300 missiles offer mobility and flexibility on the battlefield. These launchers, mounted horizontally, can be swiftly raised to a vertical position for launch, with setup time taking only 5 minutes. While the standard configuration employs an 8-wheeled vehicle with the engine and cabin offset to the left side, the launchers can be mounted on various wheeled or tracked vehicles capable of supporting their weight. Renowned for its effectiveness in air defense operations, the S-300 series boasts a sophisticated phased array radar system capable of tracking over 100 targets simultaneously and engaging up to 12 of them with improved resistance against countermeasures. Despite its reputation, it's worth noting that no S-300 launcher or missile has been deployed in combat as of 2013. Primary variants of the S-300 missiles include the 9M82, 9M83, and 9M83Mi boasting speeds exceeding 5,400 miles per hour and engagement altitudes of up to 98,000 feet, depending on the model. These missiles are equipped with a 330-pound warhead and utilize semi-active radar homing for guidance. Additionally, the S-300 family offers a range of other missile types, enhancing its tactical versatility and attractiveness to foreign buyers. According to reports, production of the S-300 system was completed in 2011, with primary manufacturing operations carried out under the MZIK brand label. The initial variant introduced was the S-300P. Subsequent iterations included the S-300PT and S-300PT-1A, which featured enhancements geared towards improved performance in low-altitude defense, particularly against cruise missiles. Models such as the S-300PS and S-300PM were designed to be nuclear-capable, while the S-300PMU represented a modernized standard missile variant. In 1984, the S-300F was introduced as a navalized version of the missile, followed by the upgraded S-300FM in 1990. The S-300V was developed with anti-ballistic missile capabilities, and in 1992, the S-300PMU-1 was introduced as a new design. This was further improved upon with the introduction of the S-300PMU-2 in 1997. More recent advancements include the S-300VM and S-300V4, which represent upgraded versions of the S-300V series. The S-300 family is actively deployed by the armed forces of Algeria, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Bulgaria, China, Greece, Iran, Kazakhstan, Syria, Slovakia, Russia, Ukraine, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Croatia was a former operator, with former Czech units assimilated into the new Slovakian army in 1993, and East German units disbanded following Germany's reunification. The new Russian military inherited ex-Soviet models. Additionally, Syria is considered a potential modern-day operator. Supplementing the S-300-SA-10 series is the more advanced S-400-SA-21 Growler system, which was introduced into the Russian air defense inventory in 2004. Initially, Iran's order for the S-300 system included five vehicles, but this deal was halted by Russia in 2010 due to an embargo on the Gulf nation. Legal action ensued in 2011, and the deal was eventually finalized in early 2015 as relations between Iran and the West improved. It is anticipated that Iran will possess the final S-300 system by the end of 2016, significantly enhancing its air defense capabilities.
Consequently, it is speculated that Israel has invested in the technologically advanced Lockheed F-35 Lightning II strike jet as a countermeasure.